Welcome to SRJC News, your source for local news made by students for students. Welcome to SRJC News, our final broadcast before the end of the world. This is Thursday, December, December 13th, the last day you can expect to see any life on Earth. So here is to surviving this broadcast. The following activities and events will be closed permanently. Seniors over 80 bingo night. Krispy Kreme dollar a dozen day. The eight crazy nights Hanukkah gift exchange. And Christmas as a holiday. SRJC classes are still in session and finals will remain as scheduled. Here with a message about the end of the world is our student body president, Julian. Thanks, Lucas. I just want to let everybody know that if you have pets, elderly family members, or children, be sure to check on them as they're most likely to be possessed by the devil and will rip your heart out. Make sure that you have holy water and crucifix on deck at all times so you have a little chance of surviving. Great advice. Thank you. Now on the scene of the SRJC campus where Zach gives us a first-hand report of the apocalypse. We've seen some major developments in the past few hours. I just saw the earth open up and swallow Mendocino whole. I, I, you guys saw that, that meteor thing, right? I mean, look at all those people, they're all dead. Uh, lightning strikes are killing people in their tracks. They're just, it's just murdering everybody. And, and winged creatures are flying out of the earth and they're pulling the heads off of people. And then they're dragging the dead bodies down into, a, into an abyss. It's madness out here. I don't know how much worse it's gonna get. Wow, sounds like quite a scene. Uh Zach, are are you, are you okay? Did, uh, me? Are you? Are you? I, I, I'm just hearing static. Are you? Are you getting this? I, I don't know what's going on. I, it's is he, Zach, is he dying or don't, is we won't we don't oh, need to think about that. Sorry, yet. Yeah. What, I I mean on the positive side, there's a job opening. What, what, uh, no, Zach, no. Um, we, we lost him. Uh, let, let's go to our in-studio meteorologist with a look at the 10-day forecast. Thank you, me and Lucas. And on a personal note, thanks for having me come to work while my, my, my entire family dies. Speaking of which, the entire country is on fire. You know, the only two safe places right now are the Westboro Baptist Church in the middle of Kansas and frickin' Mel Gibson's house. Okay, that's up there now. And now, as you can see, the entire country is on fire. This entire half of the country is dead, as I now report. Uh, so yeah, this weekend, you know what we got? We got 264 degrees tomorrow, 280 by tomorrow, and then on Saturday, 300 degrees. So be sure to go to Bodega Bay before the sea boils over and kills us all. You know? All right. Have a good apocalypse. I'm out. That's it. Goodbye. Thanks for your optimistic report, Alec. We really needed that. Now to discuss the end of days is our surprise studio guest, Satan. So, red face, really? Yeah, all right. Okay. So, Satan, why, why have you decided to unleash the apocalypse upon us? Ah, uh, stupid human, it's very simple. I'm taking over because it's gotten so hot and smelly in hell with all those Walmart shopping centers. Ah, I'm done with it. So hell has become so full that you can't fit any more people? The line to get into the gates of hell is worse than all the people seeking asylum at the borders of this crazy country. In fact, you should tell your little orange face ruler that his old friend Satan could use that border wall down in hell rather than Mexico. So all of a sudden Earth has become an extension of hell? Y you know you need a permit for that. You know we're in California, right? I don't need no stinking permits. Now's the time. I'm taking over this sin-ridden planet. This is my show now. In fact, get these clowns out of here. Hey, who are you calling clown? Your mom's a oh, clown. Oh, oh, God. Oh, what the? What is that? I, what I, is that? I have to take uh, a final tomorrow. Yeah, I, so do I. Oh, God. Ryan would be what? upset. Now, everyone watching this broadcast, call 1-800-666-7734 so you can lavish me with praise. And, of course, you'll take your hard-earned dollars. 
I accept social security checks, food stamps, and Bitcoin. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, uh, hello. Get it? Hello. This is Satan, the overlord of pain and suffering. What can I do for you? Hey, Satan. Big fan. I just wanted to call to confirm a rumor that you have Ligma. Ligma? What is Ligma? Ligma nuts. Ah! <sighs> All right, let's back. get back to this. Uh, raising money for for me of course raising money for me so uh, this better this next one better be better hello this is the prince of darkness what can i do for you seriously this is so lame you wretch how dare you speak to me i am the supreme ruler uh-huh you think you're so hot with your devil looks in your red doll face you jabroni Donald Trump looking. I bet your horns are silicon implants. <sighs> well, let's get back to the tele telethon here. Send me more money. I could use everything. My pockets are thin and I need a new cape. So let's get back to the calls. Yes, this is Satan. What can I do for you? Your mom's Satan. <laughs> no, I'm Satan. How dare you? Prove it. <laughs> I will destroy you. Oh, you're mean. I'm going to tell my dad. Ah, to hell with this. You heard humans do not deserve life. Ah, die. <laughs> this is Satan. Signing off. <coughs> Signing off. This has been the last episode of Oakleaf Online for the living world. The age of the after death has commenced.